everybody, this is Carlos. Um, I have something kind of special to show you today. Um, I found and recently downloaded a... I, as you know, I'm really, really, really into Android. I love Android, everything about it. Um, so, if you can guess, that has to do with Android. Think we should click it? Let's click it. Terminal window comes up right there. And then a full Android phone emulator and it's not just just an emulator well it is an emulator but it does more than your standard emulator <clears throat> um, so it's Android 3.21 AM it's not obviously it's 8.21 um, it's just set by default um, press menu to unlock the screen ready there we go now this is full Android. This is not just a little theme. But we'll get rid of get rid of the clock. Put the clock back. Add a widget. Clock. There we go. It's got the multiple screens. Um. And the cool thing about it is you can actually run on Wi-Fi from this. See, as you can see, I'm connected to Wi-Fi right here. And so let's go into the browser. It loads up Google as your home page. Um, so let's go to let's go to a website. Which what should we go to? Let's go to let's search Android. You can type right into the thing. Let's go to the Android official site. Just show you everything works. No, whoops. If you double click, I if you, you shouldn't double click because it'll do the whole zoom out. Whew. So and you can just drag around by clicking and going up and down, or you can use your scroll wheel if you have one. But this is the full Android site right here. Um. Let's go home. Uh, we can go into uh, dialer. It obviously will not um, dial an actual number, so let's just put two five 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 six three nine. That's just a random number. Call it if you want. I don't care. It's not my number. Uh, I press call. It says it's gonna call. Did I just? Turn, I just turned the screen off. Great. And you? Sorry. I didn't mean to that. Okay. Press call. Not turn. Jesus. Oh, sorry. Uh, where's, oh, that was end call. Press call. And it will say it's dialing. It'll say it's connected and everything, and you can see the, all that down there. So it'll say it's connected and all that good stuff. Press menu for options. You can merge calls, swap calls, add call, end call. It's end call. Match. Um, you've got pretty much everything, you've got maps, but it won't, oh, it will work. Will it work? Find me. Can you find me? My location. Let's see if we can determine my location. I might, I might cut this part out. Okay, yeah, so it says, you're, oh, okay, I guess. Well, I'm guessing it's going to say that my location can't be determined because to zoom in really far and see what we have. Huh. I guess this is as far as we can go. Um, it says we can't find my location because we don't have any service, but uh, we've got all this good stuff. You can change your. Um, oops. Oh, here's the notifications. As you can see, that can go up, and that can come down. Up. Um, you can change your wallpaper, wallpaper gallery. So we've got all these stock Android themes. Let's choose a. Okay, I like this one. Let's set wallpaper. There we go. 
set up. Um, so, if you are looking to get an Android phone but you don't know if you want one, I'd suggest just downloading an, downloading an emulator. I sadly cannot provide you with the link to this because I don't even know where I found it. Um, I was searching other stuff, other Android stuff, uh, non-emulator related, and I downloaded this. So, can't tell you where to get it, but I'm sure you could get it if you find it. If you search for it, sorry. I know you'll get it if you find it, but... Um, yeah, if you want it, you basically you can just go search for it, and you will probably find it, so... If you have an SD card enabled, you can listen to your music on there. If your computer doesn't have a music player, or if your computer doesn't have a good browser, and or if it has a horrible browser, and surprisingly the Android browser is better, um, you can use that basically anything but phone calls and maps. I mean, you can look at a map, but you can't find yourself or get directions somewhere, so. I don't know, can you? Maybe. Let's see. I might be able to get direct. Let's see. From uh, LA, ah, LAX to Let's go to SF. Oh, wrapped. Okay, cool. Um, show map. Cool. Okay, so you can you can get um. So it says distance, uh, three hundred ninety-one miles, because that's from Los Angeles Airport to uh, San Francisco International Airport. So it's telling me directions to get there, which is actually really cool. So you can use the map feature. Okay. Uh, I don't know why you'd need it if it's on your computer, but there you go if you want it. Um, so this is running about seven minutes now, so I'll let you guys go, uh, and I'll see you guys later.